Uh, there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> Don't you ever feel like when you do these, you want to do the boop boop from yes. My Drunk Kitchen? Yes. I think I do it when I watch them for you because I'm like, and so it begins. <laughs> boop boop. All right. Hey guys. What's up? <laughs> I'm Emily. This is my pal Ryan from A Man With The Plans. You guys hey. need to go subscribe to him. We just filmed a collab video for our planners. We decided to do that because we were drinking during that and that involved handwriting. So we thought it was a good idea to do the planning video first and now we're gonna make something. So I'm gonna put the link below to where I got this recipe. A coworker actually gave it to me. It's not her recipe, but it's spaghetti carbonara. So good. I'm so excited. I mean, she like... said, do you like base bacon and do you like pasta? And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. Answer should always be yes and yes. Yes and yes. <laughs> and we're also gonna put some asparagus in it because, you know, who doesn't want their pita smell weird tomorrow? <laughs> health food, health food. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna get right to it. This is not like a DIY of how to make this, but we're just gonna have some fun and keep the camera on. In case you were wondering our progress for oh. warm-ups, we are about halfway through this bottle of bare pink pescado. It is a big bottle. It is, I got the one later one because I felt like we needed to. There's backup wine in the fridge though. There is, there is always backup wine. So, I'm gonna be Emily's sous chef today. So Actually, she's gonna put me to work. No, he is gonna supervise me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this, the, the says, Take, okay, hold on. What, let's, re I need to read the directions. Hold on, I can't see. Water. Hydration nation. So it says spaghetti, but Emily told me that she's um, going a different route and we're using angel hair, which I am personally a bigger fan of, so. I don't like spaghetti, they taste like worms. <laughs> Texture issues. Texture issues. Yep. So like, you know the fun thing with asparagus that's kind of nifty? Have you seen this trick before? No, because I don't eat asparagus usually. Okay. But so, I'm down for it. So I'll watch it and then I'll show you my she, favorite he's trick. He's gonna show me tricks. It's not really a trick, it's just I watch too much Ina Garten. Shout out to you, Miss Barefoot Contessa. Oh, I don't know what that is, but hey. She's on the Food Network. Oh. She's just like this lovely lady that I want to be friends with. Oh, well maybe you can't, it's the internet, anybody can be friends. I know, this is crazy. So the <laughs> thing with asparagus that I love is like, at some point you're like, this probably doesn't taste good. This doesn't taste good, yeah. but this does. And so if you go like this, asparagus will break where it tells you it's tender and where it's not. This is so educational. It's so cool. I, I'm, when I found that out, I'm like, no way. What? Your vegetables speak to you. We're gonna, cool. It's <laughs> too excited. Could you just, okay, You can do on. it for Let all me see. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can focus your efforts on your drinking though. Cause we're, <laughs> we're, all, we're all thirsty here. It's very thirsty for views. <laughs> I'm yeah. learning so many things. I feel like though this is such a good dish for fall cause it's like hearty and warm and obviously there's bacon and pasta. So you really can't go wrong. Do you know that I've never had this before? Really? Never That's ever. That's so exciting. I did not realize that, um, you could put, I mean, clearly you could put bacon in anything. But I didn't That's really so know true. there was like a bacon pasta dish yeah. situation. Of course Italy would come up with that brilliance. We're not eating this portion. Por portion? <laughs> portion! Oh, oh wow. There's that sound. I'm getting, I'm getting weird already. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm You're like not in the frame. Oh. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> so if you missed it, she, she added some olive oil to these. <laughs> and we'll just do salt and pepper. I love pepper. Yeah. Should I be, I'm gonna be crazy and I'm gonna toss this right now. He's getting extra. I haven't really eaten much today, so I'm super stoked about this. And <laughs> We've also, been drinking. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you know my state of mind right now. All right, so, oh, I should probably turn the oven on, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it, it can preheat, I guess, while it's doing its thing. Go I need to make sure I had the right burner on. That's, because that's never happened. I did that the other day. <laughs> And I was all impatient, like, why isn't the water boiling? What's wrong with the stove? And I was like, okay, like, user what's, error. What's wrong with me? <laughs> user error. <laughs> well, parmesan. yeah, okay, so I got this big block of Parmesan, which apparently is very fancy. It's like the Mercedes Benz of Parmesan. And I did not know that. I just kind of picked out one that I was like, okay, this looks like it's supposed to be what's good. Um, so I just found out that you're not supposed to eat this part because Mr. Education over here, told me. <laughs> I had no idea. The more you know. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we are going for this, but we only need how much? A half cup. A half cup. So that means like a full cup in Minnesota terms, probably. I was just um, going to say. This right? Is... <laughs> 
The way that I see this recipe is it's more like guidelines, like from Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean, you know? Like it's <laughs> just suggested. And she's got the really cool grater that you like insert the chunk in. And it's it. like the Olive Garden one. I just got it on Amazon. It's super cool. I'm super impressed by this thing and yeah. So and I figured if it didn't work, because I was very skeptical, I bought this one on Amazon too. Maybe old timey cameras, you know, they'd like tape it this way. Oh, ready? <laughs> oh, Doyle's back. Hi, buddy. Because he smells the cheese. Pro tip, I told Emily earlier though, so while you can't eat the rind of the Parmesan, if you keep it, and I usually throw it in the freezer, because like there's no reason to just leave that in your fridge, and you make like a tomato sauce or something, and you throw it in there, it'll add like really good cheesy flavor without having so to just, add like, cheese. So I just like cut it? You could just leave it if you want to just cut like a piece that'll fit in here for you. This is what it looks like. So actually. <laughs> it's smiling. You <laughs> It's like those arm slices. So here, the beautiful part about the recipe she picked, by the way, this I found out that we're doing this today. Yes, he did not know. I just asked him if he was allergic to anything. Nothing. Almonds, actually, but not today. We're not not a problem today. <laughs> so I can give you almonds today? Well, no. <laughs> yeah. You're like, not today. And I mean, when I say allergic, it's just like, it's mildly inconvenient. It's not like deadly. Sure this recipe, though, is so great because like, it's bacon and cheese. How do you go wrong? Like, it's going to be so good. No matter what happens, like it's gonna be amazing. I've never used this before, but I've seen the people at the Olive Garden use it. Yeah, and so, yeah, so you can I know, but it. I wanna like see the inside. Look at Oh it's inside. doing it. It's doing things. It's doing it. Wow. It's you know what? It. I'm so impressed, I'm gonna drink for you. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god, look at all the little fur. <laughs> it looks like fur. It looks like Doyle fur. So pro tip, have, have any of you, it's not, it's not really <laughs> this a is like the, This is like all about pro tips. <laughs> but, so it's not even a pro tip, it's like really just asking about lived experience. Have you ever been to the Olive Garden or like a restaurant and they're always just like, say when? And then you you're have- like never. You have that awkward chicken match with the waiter or waitress and you're just like, keep going. I, I have I not said stop yet. You. And they're I like, double dog uh, dare you. Right, and so they're just going to town cranking this thing and finally they're like, yeah, I guess that's enough. Like really casual about it. Cause that's me every time I go somewhere with that. You know what my favorite ridiculous snack is? What, cheese? You make Parmesan cheese crackers. What? You just take like a little bit of cheese and you put it on a baking sheet and you bake them and it becomes like a little crispy cracker just like that. And it's, okay. it's the easiest and it's just cheese. That sounds amazing. Right, Cause you know how like there's little crispy bits on like pizza, like the cheese gets all crispy and awesome. Yes. That's exactly what it is. That sounds good. Okay, so now it looks like that. Do yeah. I just like put more stuff on it? Yeah, you could if you want. Well, maybe like put this on there. I think that's perfect. Do you want to try it? I kind of do. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, it kind of reminds me of uh, like when you were little and you had the, um, what are those things? <laughs> like the Jack in the Box? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> and then you gotta go like this and you gotta go like, yeah, but instead of that, it's giving it's you cheese. cheese. If you don't know or you haven't been to the Midwest, Everything cheese related is wonderful here. Like basically you get kicked out if you can't eat cheese. Like, like I feel very sorry for people that are lactose intolerant because mm -hmm. so one of the things being an East Coaster that's moved here like on my own volition, uh, discovering like cheese curds at every restaurant has been one of the best slash worst things for me because yes. I order them everywhere and I'm like, I'm starting to realize why I've gained a ton of weight. <laughs> It's cheese curds. It keeps you warm. It's self-preservation. And because I'm not really an keeps ice, you warm at night. Because I'm not an ice fisherman like most yes. people here. No, I don't. Which has literally zero appeal. Sorry to you that like I to do that. But black label, thick cut. Fancy. I don't know. It was buy one get one free with a coupon. So that's Boom. why I bought there you it. Go. Ooh, I'm like spilling cheese that's, everywhere. That's the Doyle portion of the game. Wow. <laughs> Everyone gets a snack. Isn't that satisfying? Oh, it's the best thing. <laughs> It wasn't very expensive on Amazon. It was like, I think less than 10 bucks. I'm ordering one. <laughs> so, I don't know. Leave a link down below. I'm sure other people I will, would too. I will try to find it. <laughs> I love that all of this can get edited out. Like, wow. Uh, Hercules over there. Are you like the cleanup crew, Doyle? He is. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong recipe again, too. <laughs> I'm like, what about an avocado? <laughs> so what planner do you have over here? This is your YouTube one? Oh yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm trying this to... is why this whole like thing happened. Oh well, yeah, we forgot to preface. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I don't... <laughs> We're drinking a little. So I totally stole Ryan's idea because he's amazing. What had happened was 
he posted a video <laughs> about a recipe tracker because he was talking about he was kind of like stuck in a little rut and wanted to try out new recipes. And I'm like, girl, I want to do the same damn thing. So this is my new recipe tracker. This is going to start in 2019, so we're not going to put one in here today. But I am committed to start new recipes. Actually. Yes. I have a thought because mine's live now, so let's we'll put it on mine when we're done. Yes. Yeah. So I'll grab mine. It's in one of my planners yes. that I have with me. I brought literally every planning supply I own <laughs> up here. <laughs> you did. Because um, we're like kind of neighbors. Like it's it's. We're close but, enough. Yeah. So yeah. like I'm like I'm coming to visit. Right. Like, cook me food. I camped out overnight and was like, <laughs> what's up? No, but I have mine, and so I'll put this recipe yes. in mine because this will come out great. I'm sure. I'm confident of that. And that might only because he's here <laughs> and because I'm literally two glasses of wine deep so yep. I'll I can change and the they're right big now. glasses of, they're the Dollar Tree glasses of wine because I'm classy side note though you would have no idea that that's Dollar Tree because it's not cheap and it like has a heavy weight to it mm -hmm. like oh if I drop this Good. it like you know so he did his on his channel and I totally stole his idea and I did mine on my channel and um, I also did like a baking one too because I don't bake and you guys watch my drunk bake with me's so I figured I would do one too. But I'll put his video down below and mine. Do you know what your glass is telling me? That it's feeling a little empty. Aww, Doyle, this is Doyle's portion. Do you guys like that? I'm gonna go put it in his little dish. Doobie, hey, hey, stop cleaning up that stuff. Come here. I'm refilling our wine glass. Jesus, Cooking supplies. I haven't had pasta in six weeks. Oh my god. I know, it's killing me softly. So this is when you're, and I was like, oh, we're doing something Italian. <laughs> yeah, wait, do you see this thing? Ooh, look at that. I love dramatic effect when it comes to it's utensils. It's a very exciting time. And you must be thirsty, I got you some wine. <laughs> I report them because you know you gotta. Do oh, that. I see that! Wow, so look at this! Whoop! Cooking is thirsty work, you know. I mean, we could clearly have to hydrate. This is really mm -hmm. delicious, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Good. Did you have this in your last video? Mm. Or something similar? I had a barefoot something at some point. I don't know. Let us know in the comment below. Comment back below. The comment. comment the below. one Just comment. One. I only get one comment, guys. <laughs> Those are my videos. <laughs> Comments. I do. My, my because you ask a lot of questions. I don't tend to ask a lot of questions because I don't think of it. Okay. That's drained real good. That's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Because that's what it said. Yeah. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Whoop, come with me. I don't know. I'm just making this up as we go. We need some eggs. You got Which them? are right in front of you. <laughs> I meant like we need a vessel for the eggs is what I was trying oh, to say. Oh, right. Okay. And I was like, I don't know where the bowls are. There's a lot of bowls in a lot of places. Do we want another one of these, maybe? Is yeah, that's, that's totally fine. For okay. Me. So, do you want me to crack He's one? in charge of the cheese, so okay. clearly. I'm the cheese guard. All the bacon. I'm not going to make just a couple of strips of bacon, because who does that? That doesn't seem fair. I'm going to make all the bacons. It's going to it's gonna work itself out. I was a fork, but I'd be... I would be you here. You would be there. Oh my goodness. It's like you know the things. You know when you're in someone else's kitchen, you're kind of like, I'm just going to leap of faith investigate. It worked. I found a like, fork. Where did it all go wrong? Okay, so because I, it's supposed to say two eggs, but because we upped the cheese to a full cup because Minnesota. <laughs> We're just gonna blame Minnesota for everything. It's pretty easy to do that. It is very easy. Um, I added a third egg and I'm gonna whisk them separately and then combine them so that they're ready to go into the mix. Whiskey, whiskey. So I whisked up the egg and I'm gonna add the cheese into this and like just let it hang out and be friends. Are you gonna zhuzh it? <laughs> Maybe. Also, uh, Parmesan cheese freezes really well. Yes, that's what I heard. That's what my coworker told me. She's like, oh, you should freeze it. And I'm like, wait, it what? It grates really good then, too, because it's like frozen, so it's like, grrr. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why cheese got angry when it was cold, but that was it's the... It's clearly <laughs> angry at life. <laughs> well, it's nice to let people benefit from my messiness. So but do you want to hear something funny? I always want to hear something funny. There was a time... That's when... a wine break. Oh, well, hi, wine hi. break. There we go. Cheers. So I used to have, what I, I tried to start a food blog like three years ago. Shut your front door. Mm -hmm. It didn't go very far because oh. I was inconsistent, <laughs> but it was actually really fun. And like, I would just pull recipes together out of thin air and like I enjoyed it for a while. But that was my first four inch internet. And I, I was like, this is fun, but I'm not yeah. very good at it. Because I have help. I know nothing and he knows all the things. So he's helping me. The best part about this though, is that worst case scenario, you have wine. So you're yes. Gonna go. And we have more wine, in case. Oh awesome. my gosh, we have so much wine. <laughs> I keep like forgetting. You're like, uh-oh. 
Yeah, so that bacon's moving and grooving. I'm gonna cut up, chop some parsley so we have some garnish. Ooh, you got the fancy parsley. It was the cheap parsley. I don't know what you're talking about. So you got- Is that, is that actually parsley? Yeah, you got curly, you got curly parsley. What, okay, it, tell me. Uh, the other like type of parsley is flat leaf. It doesn't matter. It's just, they're two different varieties. Oh, okay, cool. I don't think you're gonna like this, buddy. It's really herby. Like, I'm just being honest. But he smells the cheese. Yes, he does. And the egg, too. Oh, he loves eggs. Well, this is his the bowl made in heaven. No, no. I don't want to pick that up later. You know what I mean, pet parents? You know what I mean. I love parsley either way, but like, hmm. And Emily is the bacon master right now. So. Um, I am the opposite of mastering the bacon. It, it's doing what you need it's, it to. Yeah, I was thinking about it. It's like a friggin' tree up in here. Yes. Well, it's like a tree on the table. I'm like, when it comes to cooking, I'm super lazy in terms of like, if we have a knife that's already out. I'm like, might as well it. use it. Yeah. And honestly, if you Stop. felt like it, you could just tear this over the pasta when you're done. Oh, like, very true, because it's just like a garnish. Yeah, it's just fluff. Like, literally, it's fluff. And to be honest, you're not really gonna cut much of it because it's like Doyle fluff. Literally, but it's a veg. It's like green Doyle fluff. Right, like. Whoa, Doyle fluff. Oh, right. he's. He's been standing under our feet the entire time we've been doing it. Yeah, but this is like the because worst. bacon and cheese. Right, but this snack is super disappointing if he was gonna try to get some Yeah, of he wouldn't like that. Yeah, don't come to this channel for advice. Ooh, bacon, bacon. I feel like it should look better than it does. I think it is the pan hot enough. Oh, does it have to be like really hot? It doesn't need to be super hot, but you want it to be crispy, so. Okay, I'll just turn it off. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, it's starting to look good though. Okay. And it's doing the like squeaky thing that it does when it's cooking, okay. so. Forgot you were delicious. Right, so it's like, okay, <laughs> maybe not. So here's our spar balls. Ain't nobody got time for dishes. I'm gonna survive. <laughs> you're a survivor, you're not a keeper. You're not Kelly Rowland up in there? I am 100% not Kelly Rowland. <laughs> and also, I'm like the opposite of Beyonce, although I love her to death. But you're like, well, everyone's a little Beyonce. Do you have a specific brand of paper towel that you enjoy? So I grew up in a bounty household. Okay, uh, that, so did I. Yeah, that was my thing. Okay, so I'm have gonna you give you, a, I'm gonna give you a little piece of this for a second and Let's I'm gonna see. have you um, feel it just a little bit. Just, and, and you gotta stretch it. Isn't that satisfying? What is this? <laughs> it's the Viva Vantage. It's what? the selecticize one. Yeah. And it's like, it wow. feels like a cloth. It's super durable. Yes. How is it when it's wet? It's good. Yeah. Oh, you might be changing my game. I know, and they have is them at like, Target. Is it like 30 cents cheaper than Bounty Answer? I think so, because it's Viva, oh. but don't get the other Viva ones, because okay. those are like stick, like stick to each other. But these are the selecticize ones, the ones yeah. with the ridges. This is crazy. It's so satisfying. Life-changing moments Viva. here, FDE. Not sponsored, Viva, no. please find me. Please oh, sponsor me. Call her. Call me. Um, so, do you want to hear something really funny? I always want to hear something. You, you know how we talked about Aldi and how like there are certain things that you should and shouldn't buy? Yes. I made the mistake of getting Aldi toilet paper once. Oh no! Oh, I've never been so burned by a product in my whole Literally. life. Literally. <laughs> Literally burned. Um, do you like garlic? Or are um, you like my, a take it? This is a teaspoon anyway. Yeah, whatever. We'll do two teaspoons. And whatever it. you think is good. Because there's a bunch of other flavors going on. Sure. So it's on low, but it might splatter at you. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> we'll do one more. We just changed the battery. I waited for the best part to stir in the, the, the stuff, the eggy, pasta y, yes. cheesy thing. All right, I'm gonna use the scissors that I can wash later. Oh, that's so smart. I'm a smart lady. I would have never have thought to do that. Yeah, because you can just wash it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to mix this egg mixture in without scrambling. Doing... Yeah. Well, you can always move it off the burner too. Well, uh, I think it's on low enough heat that it shouldn't be a huge issue. Yeah, true that. Because um, you did turn it off for a sec, so it dropped the tank. Yep, and now it's on just low, low. Low, low. <laughs> Shorty got low, low. Shorty got low, low, low. Oh, that was like my song. My goodness. Is that your jam? That was my like freshman year of college. No, it was my senior year of high school, I believe. Woohoo! Hell yeah. Dance team. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. Yeah. How did this happen in my kitchen? 
Because you did it. No, you. No, no, I'm supervising. You're remember? supervising. I'm the sous chef. You're the, you're the supervising chef. That's what it is. That's what it is. Ooh, look at that. How did we do this? I don't know. We're freaking magic. Clearly, it's the alcohol, guys. It's the alcohol. So I if you're. Jamie's Fox song about blaming things on alcohol. Uh, no, that was Kanye. Was it Kanye? No, it was Jamie Foxx. Was it? It was. Blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol. Right, because no, nobody thought that Jamie Foxx could rap, and then he did that. Yeah, she give me money <laughs> when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling. I'm going to stop now. Did we really, really do this? So we just made. Oh, she a gold digger. Sorry. Nailed <laughs> him. That digs on me. me. <laughs> you can schedule me on a Saturday night. Too snazzy for his own good. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of cheese. I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean like a lot of a bit. Doyle, are you impressed with our culinary adventure? I'm kind of impressed with our culinary adventure. Because I certainly am. <laughs> that it didn't end up totally horrible. This actually, oh, I just flung it. Oh, the pasta. You know, sometimes it's okay. It tastes really good. Yay! I'm a messy chef. I want to do something that I think is kind of interesting. Do it. <laughs> I love your stance. I know. What? I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> so, Doyle, get out of here. No are you going to twirl it? Yeah, so I see that on the cooking shows, and I'm like, I want to do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. So, like, a good spin. they put it on there, and then they, like, they, oh, shit. Yeah, there you got it. I like it. Uh, That's perfect. Hold on. Do you need more? Hold on. Ooh, yeah, there's that twirl. Oh, I love it. <laughs> no, it looks good. You think it looks good? Look, All right. at, look at how she plated that. It's We're like trying. a restaurant. Like fine dining here. So this is spaghetti carbonara with roasted asparagus. Look how fancy we sound. We are fancy. People. I'm real impressed. Like, I'm real impressed. Oh, look at that one. You want this one? I mean, they're both good. I'm so impressed. I made more. Yeah, sure. Throw a little bit on there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then you want some pepper? Yeah. Okay. Pepper me up. <laughs> I probably don't want any salt, but that's good. Oh, that's the thing. Is the cheese is nice and salty? Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Look what we made. Okay. Well, let's taste test. Hold okay. on. Let's get the forks. We're testing and tasting. I feel like we're on a Ooh, food show. Ooh, do you show. smell it though? Like, that smells really good. It smells like I paid like, I don't know, like twenty-seven dollars for this. So like, herby, delicious, yeah. bacony. Hold on, I need to, I need to get all the yeah. things in the bites because that's what they do at the, on the yeah, shows. Yeah. Yep. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Like the crunchy bacon, mm -hmm. the salty cheese. Yeah. And then you have the asparagus that's like, hey, I'm a vegetable, so it's not all bad for you. Right. Like it makes you feel better about yourself because you're eating like all the dairy yeah. and all the pasta. And the nice part is um, for those of you that are not like huge egg fans, you can't taste it. It just makes it all sort of come together. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that the bacon's a little burnt. It like gives it a little something. Mm. And then the parsley is like, hey, it's fresh. Like, hey, I'm here too. Yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's so good. How did we do this? I think we just work well together. Heck yeah. I think because he supervised, I provided the accoutrements. And he's like, hey, here's how you do it. And I'm like, great, thanks for coming over. Okay, she also did the recipe inspo and the grocery shop. So like, you know, divide whoop, whoop. and conquer. I can buy the things. So this is delicious. I feel mm -hmm. like anyone getting ready for winter and wants to have like a recipe to hang out and to spoil somebody that you love, yes. you should go ahead and make this because everyone will be happy. This is so good. All right, well, we are gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been awesome. I'm gonna make another thing that I will link down below. It's the BLT, what'd you, how'd you say it, panzanella? Yeah. I'm gonna make that too, but we're gonna do that off camera because I'm just gonna use the same pan because I'm dirty like that and I don't really care. So anyway, feel free to check out his channel. Make sure to thumbs it up, subscribe, do all of those things. And um, you can thumbs up my channel too. What, I mean, whatever you, you guys wanna you. do. If you made it this far, 
you know, you're a fan of hopefully both of ours. So here's the thing. If you have a recipe that you want us to Ooh, try, yes! I'm going to be the question asker because apparently that's my thing. Leave a comment down below of a recipe. And if you have a link, great. We'll check oh it my out God, a link for us great. to try because yes. I'll totally come back up here and make something else that you guys recommend. Yes, and I will go buy all the groceries. <laughs> I'll make it, we'll alternate. It'll be my turn. Yes, okay, we'll time. figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah if you want to see us again, drink some wine and make some things, and then we'll tell you how it turns out, and we can add more things to our recipe trackers. Heck yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> Holy crap, how did you do this? How do you know? <laughs> well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Yeah.